Had 30,000 people yes. say happy birthday to wow. them. Incredible. <laughs> so before, you said refreshing is coming this way. Yes. All right. So refreshing I'm air. It is going to feel beautiful. Well, that's Fantastic. good. Are you overselling this? Am I selling it, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> no, it really is. I mean, compared to this brutal heat no. that we've been dealing with, it is ha has been hot. It's been humid. And we are going to see relief. It is going to feel really nice, Jim. I think you'll get behind this All forecast. Right. I have the seven-day forecast coming up, but before we get to this refreshing part of the forecast, let's talk about this heated humidity because that's the headliner. People are down at the beaches, as that is the place to be. Take a look at this. This is such a beautiful shot. You can see the beaches are not too packed, but it is very, very warm even there. But a nice sea breeze will keep temperatures at bay, and of course, that water temperature still refreshing in the 70s. And it looks picture perfect. Certainly a great place to be on this muggy and steamy Monday. Temperatures closer to the city are already feeling like we're in the triple digits. And I'm going to show you those numbers in a moment. But starting off with Storm Scan 3, you can see the activity that's beginning to bubble up across parts of the region. Right now, Chester County seeing a few isolated thunderstorms. And we told you that this morning that that was going to be a possibility just with the heating of the day and all of the humidity that is locked in place. We're going to continue to see these isolated downpours. So while we're not tracking widespread rain, some of these little storms can pack a punch, leading to, once again, just heavy rain. Right now, the only place of concern, the only place I'm seeing any activity is out towards Chester County. We had a little bit of rain move just east of Philadelphia, and this is going to be the case for the rest of the afternoon. Once the sun goes down, we'll see those thunderstorms diminish. Take a look, though. Right now, temperatures out there, oh, it is hot. 100 is a feeling here in Philly. 97 in Trenton, New Jersey. 100 degrees currently. That's the feeling in Wildwood. You factor in the humidity, it feels like 96 in Atlantic City. So you get the point. There's very little to no relief. It doesn't matter where you are. You can be out towards the Lehigh Valley, at the beach, right here in the city. It is just a steamy and very hot day out there. As we continue to move forward during during the afternoon is when these temperatures peak. We get to do it all over again tomorrow. I wish I had better news, but uh, we'll have day two of this high heat and high humidity with very no relief as we head towards the overnight. And we'll feel that tonight. It's going to be one of those nights where you want to crank up the AC as temperatures are going to tumble to around 78 with a few isolated storms tapering off, turning mostly dry, partly cloudy, warm and very muggy. The humidity not budging today or tonight. Here's a look at future weather. By 7 p.m., this is tomorrow, Tuesday, we'll see a few more showers and storms, much like today, isolated thunderstorms, isolated downpours. But take a look at what happens Wednesday. This is actually a cold front that will trigger heavy rain over the vicinity. This is 630 in the evening. We're still seeing some rain. But the good news about the cold front is that it will also deliver, here it is, this refreshing forecast. Temperatures will be in the 80s on Friday, 83. How about that for Saturday? Saturday, a little bit warmer by Sunday. We'll be right back.